Hey everyone, uh, let's talk about the rally that we just saw after FOMC or the Fed meeting uh, because uh, I believe we uh, somewhat anticipated this rally and I wanted to sort of dig deep into the, the data that we were seeing and the thesis behind why we expected this to sort of actually rally instead of actually go down because we, we had lots of puts throughout this week so most people thought we were going to go down but that's not the case at all. Uh, so I, I tweeted yesterday that since there was a massive put positioning we actually could uh, go up instead of go down and I'll explain why. Okay, so let's actually look at uh, market net flow over the last three days, which would be week to date. So what, what has been happening since the week started? And so since obviously this was an FOMC week, uh, Fed, sort of uh, Fed event, uh, these event driven weeks have high volatility. And we are just talking about weeks where there is a big event. Uh, this doesn't hold for non-event weeks. If there is a non-event week and we have massive put positioning, we do expect the market to go down. But when there are events and people are buying calls or puts in anticipation of that event, then things are completely different. Okay, so this week, uh, since the start of the week, we have been seeing uh, a pretty uh, steady increase in the number of puts being bought. Uh, about $60 million just in sort of equities and net premiums uh, and calls were staying flat. So market went down, up, uh, chopped around uh, until obviously we, we had the event today but uh, people were sort of surprised that market was not going down because of all this put positioning so i've been wrong the last couple of times actually in anticipating sort of what could happen and then i went back and sort of studied and uh, sort of figured out what actually happens in event driven weeks in terms of market net flow so we have seen uh, this massive put positioning being sort of uh, built up over the last couple of days now let's explain why that causes these huge rallies after FOMC or why was there a rally today. So when we, when we have this massive put positioning, uh, dealers are taking the opposite side of those puts. So if I am buying a put, dealers are going to short a put. And dealers want to stay delta neutral. They don't want to pick a direction. So shorting a put is actually bullish. So, in, so now to delta neutralize that position, they are going to short shares because they just got bullish by shorting that put. And now once uh, they short shares, now obviously they have a delta neutral position. So when we, we keep buying sort of, let's say, uh, let's say smart money, institutions, uh, retail traders keep buying these puts as hedges. So they're just making sure that if something sort of bad happens, they have all of these puts for hedging purposes. Uh, now when they are sort of hedging, uh, this hedging again takes place in event driven weeks only. In non event driven weeks, if we have massive put positioning, we are expecting the market to go down because uh, most of the time, at least in our ex experiments and observations, that's not hedging. But when it's an event driven week, uh, that is hedging. Okay, so when uh, we, we obviously uh, we are buying these puts and market makers are shorting these puts and then they're shorting shares. So they have a massive repository of shorted shares for the entire market, not just for indices here, because in market net flow is actually the entire market. So they are like sitting at uh, shorted shares literally for the entire market before the event. Now, uh, in order to piece this together as to why this causes a rally, we need to explain what WANA is. So when we are buying puts and market makers are shorting puts, that creates a positive WANA. And WANA is the change in deltas with change in implied volatility. So if you actually go ahead to SPY's volatility service, uh, just to sort of SPY since the market uh, is actually SPY or SPX, you can actually see that this white line uh, is the mean uh, IV. And you can actually see that this is much higher than these other lines, which are the IVs for the previous couple of days. So since this is much higher, this is actually why we are saying that implied volatility in event driven weeks, at least before event is very, very high. And that creates uh, and couple that with massive put positions being bought that creates a positive VANA. And now since VANA is the change in deltas with the change in uh, implied volatility, if implied volatility decreases and we have a positive vena then the deltas that dealers are sitting at are going to decrease as well now let's tie everything together so dealers are sitting on massive massive short positions right now and we have very high employed volatility but once that event happens uh, that implied volatility comes down because there is no let's say risk or there is no volatility to be expected in the market now because that event has passed now when IV goes down, again, VANA is positive. That sort of VANA sort of goes down as well. So the deltas that dealers are holding, their total deltas now go down. When their total deltas go down, all the short sort of uh, deltas that they, they had, they are going to have to buy those back. 
and that is what causes these rallies so since they are let's say you are sitting on 100 short shares and since the iv just went down now your delta is let's say 0 0.6 and you are only sitting on 60 short shares you have to buy back the remaining 40 short shares so that's what happens uh, because of all of this hedging in fomc weeks uh, that creates positive banner if there was like call selling that was that would even be better that creates positive banner and because of higher employed volatility going down after the event dealers have to buy back millions or even billions of shares that they had shorted in order to stay delta neutral that is what causes these rallies uh, and i hope uh, that's sort of uh, clear enough uh, i i'll uh, sort of uh, i'll sort of link the tweets that i posted and also a couple of videos that further explain why and how this happens but that's the reasoning now how do you actually use market net flow for weeks when we have an fomc event you actually look at the market net flow after the event so sure you can see this massive put positioning but you have to start looking at the market net flow after the event which would be like here and from here onwards you can actually see that we don't have any put buying at all puts are actually going down it's only the call buying that we are seeing so from here onwards after the event can we sort of start uh, should we start expecting the market net flow to behave as it is or as we expect it to but anytime before big events we we need to make sure that we are looking at this put positioning as hedging not as sort of uh, directional bets because over the last couple of times i have sort of went went over the data and i have said hey lots of put buying so this is just the market is just going to go down but then i went back again learned about how, what was happening and sort of just ran some analysis and this is mostly just hedging in both equities and in indices and then couple that with positive vena high employed volatility all of these things going down a little bit and then dealers have to buy back millions or billions dollars or even trillions dollars worth of shares that can then create this massive very quick rally now let's say if we had this quick rally and puts started to go up again and calls started to decline that's where we'd expect that this rally is actually very very short term and we are going to uh, go down uh, quite a lot let's say in the next couple of hours in the next couple of minutes or in the next couple of days but that has not been happening we'll see what uh, happens tomorrow we'll see how positioning looks tomorrow but hopefully that explains sort of the rally today we'll obviously uh, be talking about other uh, sort of ways this uh, could have gone let's say if there was a lot of call buying what could have happened then because a call buying by customers does not create positive banner for dealers so that's another story but hopefully for today's uh, you understand what happened uh, if that's I, I obviously uh, four or five years of my life spent into this that's the reason i believe uh, markets rallied today i don't think there was any other reason uh, implied volatility would have gone down even if uh, FOMC meeting was slightly bearish uh, the rally was a consequence of implied volatility going down couple that with massive put positioning nothing else uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys around